The stakes get higher each passing week. And we are now into round five of the 2019 varsity football season. There's virtually no room for error as the University of the Western Cape square up to the University of KwaZulu-Natal. Those two men are in the box now as UWC get on the offensive once again. Good cross in, De Sousa produces a wonderful save and then Peterson is denied on the follow-up. Sousa forced an absolutely sublime save out of Banele Kubeka from practically point-blank range. And good to see that uh, there's some versatility in this UWC setup. Now steaming up fields, but not able to put in an effective ball. This is D'Souza, shifts it and hits the side netting. Decent effort with his left. D'Souza has been a thorn in the UK defense. He's been popping up in the right areas across once again from Steelman on the right hand side and the Sousa faking to his right and going to these weaker foot the left foot but what a quality ball that he put the laces on the ball nice ball out wide as Peterson again tries to uh, use his first touch to create a little bit of space that time it's heavy and easily dealt with in the end to be honest the ball going wide and quality cross again but Peterson couldn't control it. Once he must just stop putting himself under pressure. Yes, to Sousa! And having threatened earlier, he comes up trumps this time. Powerful in the air. De Sousa is the man to break the deadlock. De Sousa. The way it looked run is that the coach gave him a free roll because you find him on the right hand side, middle, on the left hand side and once again, that time, expecting a quality ball from the right hand side. What I've noticed with UWC is that they noticed that the left back of UK is a dead. So many spaces emerging, good block tackle, well, I have to say that's a rather unbelievable decision considering that uh, the player came away with the ball very cleanly but Christopher Kistua is convinced. It's Luke Fester, the man who's stepped in. This to draw level! And Leek does brilliantly deny Sinclengetwa. It's a fantastic save from the youngster and the fans understandably pleased with that. Lovely play, and surely they can put a second home, and they do. It's Jaden Peterson with an unerring finish. And could this spell the end for UK today on the day and in the tournament? They've done well in goals breaking, getting quicker to the third of UK's at end. We've seen every time UK's at end attacks, and once Lee gets the ball or defense, they play a one-two quicker. That ball was played by Seba, Seba Remy for Peterson and with his pace, with his control much better it made it all possible and he's just pushing this behind him. Kubega Well taken and this is Zulu cuts it back Well that was the chance and they can barely believe it in the UK's it in dugouts here's Zulu Goes the unselfish route and then steered over the bar. As Mavedi clips it into space for Peterson. It's a tight angle, but he scored absolutely superbly. That is sensational from Peterson. A beauty of a finish. If you thought the first was good, that has blown it out of the water. Absolutely brilliant goal from a brilliant team. A performance today has been. Marvellous. That ball started from the right back with Sterling playing a 1-2 with Mavelli and Mavelli said that Peterson 1-2 again and then played it over the head of the defender and Peterson, the way he controlled it with his chest and put the right foot on it, far post of Kubega. And it's an emphatic victory. It's a, a statement of intent from UWs as they look to march towards the semi-final. They are currently inside the top four with this 3-0 victory over UK's at end.